Good morning. Good morning. I am really tired this morning. Little miss. It came on really quick yesterday. She has conjunctivitis. So she had the big goopy. I'm sorry, I'm doing a grocery haul, but I'm giving you this update. Um, she had a big goopy eye. <laughs> Uh, it's cleared up today, so technically she could have gone to daycare because they said they can just put the drops in, but her eye is quite red. I just thought I would keep her home. So I have her home this morning. So my husband ran and got the groceries before he went to work this morning and dropped the little man off at school. So I do have my groceries here. I haven't done my fruit and veg, so I'm just going to keep her home the majority of the day. When I pick the little man up from school, we'll swing past the fruit and veg place and grab our fruit and veg. Groceries this this week came to $89.35 and you're going to think, oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. I didn't get much. I'm not going to lie. I definitely checked my receipt and thought, is everything here? And I think it said something like 15 items. I was like, oh, okay. The things I have purchased are probably more on that higher price point, which are things we need to get anyway huge packet of nappies for example so i'm happy with what we've gotten if i can get my groceries under 100 if i can get my fruit and veg to be under 40 dollars my groceries will be under 130 and i think that's fantastic given we're averaging around the 160 at the moment so i'm going to flip you and show you what I've purchased. I feel like it's going to be a really small grocery haul this week. Maybe I should do the fruit and veg and put it on the end of this video to be one. Maybe I'll do that. Instead of having like the two separate videos, maybe I'll be like a to be continued and then I'll grab that other groceries and bring it back and film the rest this evening. I don't know. And I can't ask for your opinions because I'm filming this and I haven't uploaded it. So let me think that one through. But let me show you what we've got. I'll take you out of my cupboard again so you can see the groceries for the week. And I'll explain a couple of things to you. I'm still supporting our local Australian milk where I can. I've got the Norco again. Could totally have gone cheaper with this option. It's an extra 63 cents per litre. I have 12 litres. So that's like an extra, what, $6, if my math is correct, $5 or $6. Um, yeah, about $5 or $6, I think it is, off the top of my head, I've paid to support local. So you can see how challenging that can be for some families to support local, how much extra in the groceries it's going to cost. This is just something we want to do to help Norco out with all the floods that have happened down in Lismore lately. So we have bought the Norco milk again. Little Miss loves the cub nappies. She got a really, really bad reaction to the, what's that really popular brand? Huggies. She got a really bad reaction to the Huggies nappies and I just started trying brands and she loves these ones. One, that's fantastic because they're a really affordable price point. Um, so I'm just going to stick to these ones here. So we were getting low. These never go on sale, but I've just stocked up. So these are the nappy pants that she just pulls up and wears for bedtime. She doesn't wear nappies throughout the day at all. This is So this will get us through for at least 42 nights. So you won't see me buy these at least for a month. They didn't have the usual, uh, this is the I use for my dog food. They didn't have the usual one cut up, so I've got this one here. I'm sure my dog will consume it. I'll see how it goes. It might be a bit chunky for her, though, so maybe I'll get, like, the potato masher and mash them down a little bit. Um, butter, because we have been doing a bit of baking lately. Uh, this was my treat for the week. This was the only thing that was on sale. These were 50 cents off. <laughs> uh, nothing else I purchased was on sale this week. Last week, you would have seen the grocery haul. I went all out and I shopped big and I had massive savings and this week I've pulled back. There weren't great savings for what we purchased this week, but there was a really good Coles discount code. Spend $2.50, get $20 off. I could have bought a bunch of stuff to just stockpile again, my toilet paper, tissues. I could have gotten three lots of nappies. I could have gotten more cat food, but I'm just being very mindful. Last week, I spent a lot. I think I spent $270 or $280. And this week I was like, don't, just grab what I need. And this is, I don't even need some of this stuff. I didn't need to get these bags. Yes, my little sick patient. Oh, what's happened to her? Do I have to fix her for you? Yeah. Okay. All right, princess, whatever it was, has been repaired. The toy's been repaired. Um, 
I didn't need to get bags this week. I did need to get cat food. It is working though. The cat food, I'm just mixing with a little bit of rice. He sometimes leaves the rice behind. Usually he just like swallows everything up, but I'm starting to stretch out the cat food a bit more. I'm not putting a bunch of rice in it. I think I found the right balance between cat food and rice just to fill him up and literally not go through a tin of these every day and a half. That is how much the cat eats. I didn't need to get batteries, but we're definitely low and I'm going to need them soon, so I grabbed them. Honey, we are not, I have a video coming on what I've done with my shelving, so stay tuned. I've still got probably just under half of honey left, but I thought I would grab another one because sometimes we go through it quite quickly. This is now $13.75 per kilo. Sorry, it used to be $10 a kilo. So this alone, and this is the cheapest honey I can get my hands on. It says it's 100% Australian. I'm, I mean, Australian honey down the bottom. I've learned around how this sort of like yellow scale works on it. So it's Australian honey, but it is $13.75 a kilo. It used to be 10. That's gone up quite a bit. Uh, and the bread, we go through at least three loaves at the moment. We're doing like toasted sandwiches, toast, um, egg soldiers we're doing sandwiches and these loaves are four dollars each that's eight dollars just for two loaves of bread i could definitely get cheaper milk i could definitely get cheaper bread but these are the things that we do like so for 89 dollars, it does not look like a lot but they are very expensive in my opinion that bread is actually quite expensive the honey is over ten dollars Sorry, she keeps wanting to be um, updating with shoes and hair accessories. Um, the honey is quite expensive and the nappies. I can't remember what the nappies work out to be, but they're probably definitely around, oh, I don't know. I have no idea how much I paid for them. If I looked at the receipt, which is all online now, I could probably tell you, but I'm happy with what I've gotten. I'm happy, actually, I'm happy with how little I spent. I would have thought for $89, they would have been a little bit more. 12 months ago, I reckon this would have costed me, cost me, I would have spent easily under $80. I reckon I'm probably looking at around the $75 mark. So it shows things have definitely gone up. Um, so shop smart where you can, shop the sales where you can. And then like me last week where I went all out and stocked up on a bunch of stuff, which is fantastic because this is all I needed this week, apart from the fruit and veg, which will come this afternoon. This is all I needed to get. Don't need shampoo. Don't need washing up liquid. I don't need soaps. I don't need hair products. I don't need tin food. I don't need meat. I don't need the range of stuff I just do not need. This is all the stuff that will easily get us through for the week. I have a ton of protein. We've got pork sausages. We've got pork sausages. That's my chicken from last week. That's dog food there. I've got chicken mints. I've got chicken mints. I have got two lots of apple juices for the kids. I've got crumb chicken sitting there, frozen bread rolls. Underneath here, I've got some pre-made dinners. I've got a pumpkin soup sitting up there. This is just showing you fish. Chorizo, chorizo, uh, frozen fish fingers for the kids. I have got so much. These are muffins we made last week that I've frozen. I've got meat pies. So the kids could do party pies and we could do large meat pies for dinner one night. I've got a bag of frozen chips there that we can do. I've got frozen broccoli and cauliflower. I've actually got a full bag of the dog food veggies that we use. Didn't see that one. Um, I've got bacon sitting in there. I've got a big bag of party pies sitting in there. I have plenty of food. So it really comes, well, in my opinion, because, you know, it can only be your opinion. If you shop smart and shop the sales, you will benefit. I think that's just logic, uh, but really shop the sales. Shop when they do the two for five, two for 10, two for 12, half price stock up because for the next couple of weeks i don't think i need to buy any protein i have placed an order with the maranoa farm again so i've got some beef and some lamb coming in the next couple of weeks i don't know how much it's come to because i'm doing like a bit of a, a unique pack up they're helping me with a, a bit of a pack i'm working on so i'm keen to see what the price is for that so i'm doing local with my milk i'm doing local with my fruit and veg and i'm doing local with my beef 
and lamb. So I'm trying my best to support farms where I can direct through there. But what I need to do now is sit down once I've gotten my meat through and just work out how much I'm averaging. So I'm gonna get my grocery bill. For the next three months, I'm gonna go through and work out the average I'm spending every week. And if I'm too high, I need to try and bring that back down. Maybe that means I need to go on the cheaper milk every second week, see what we need to do there. Maybe I need to look at other options for um, the bread. My kids love the fresh bread from Coles and Woolies. It just doesn't freeze as well. So maybe I have to go after school drop off. I need to go and get a loaf of fresh bread every two days. It's just around the corner, not hard to do, but those two loaves of bread cost me $8. I could get two loaves fresh from the bakery for like four or five dollars. That's three dollars in savings just by switching out some bread. So I constantly review my spendings, my savings, and my budgeting when it comes to things like groceries, a weekly occurrence where I have a say in it, don't have say in the rent, don't have say in the mortgage, unless you pack and move. I do have a say in my weekly grocery bill, your fortnightly grocery bill, your monthly grocery bill. You have a say in it, and it's just around about shopping smarter, being savvy. If you're a person that loves to go into the shops, go ask the Coles, Woolies, LDs, IGA, Costco, I don't know the other ones, uh, managers or the person that runs the bakery, when do you do your markdowns? When do you do your clearances? And shop them. If you shop them, put them in your freezer, cook the food up, have it prepared, you will save money. It's just, it's on sale. So you're saving money to a full priced item. So sometimes we have to get a bit savvy and think outside the box. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit frustrating <laughs> because I love convenience. It's a little bit frustrating that I just don't get my groceries with my fruit and veg delivered now. And it's here, I'm like, yes, my food can go get put away. I've definitely saved money by shopping local with my fruit and veg man, and I'm supporting a local person. I'm having to adjust my routine on just get on my groceries at once and put them away. I'm kind of doing like a two stop. It's not out of my way to get it, but it's definitely a, I stop, I get my Coles delivery, my Coles click and collect, and then I need to go out to another spot and get my fruit and veg. But you know, I'm learning to adjust, it's change. Um, humans don't love change. I do not love change. And it's just something I'm gonna to have to learn to get used to because it's definitely saving us money. Those strawberries last week, they were what, three or $4 for that massive punnet. This week I saw them at Coles for $5. They have come down, but they were around like the $10 mark. So I've definitely saved a lot of money there. And we're starting to grow our own. If you watch my weekly uh, walk through Garden Wednesday uh, Instagram shorts or YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, you will see how our veggie garden is growing. We have blueberries out the front, we have strawberries out the front, we've got rosemary out the front, we've got tomatoes out the front, we bought an olive tree, which is teeny tiny, but it was a lot cheaper than buying a huge one for like $200. So we've got a lot of things we're trying to grow. I've got lots of herbs like chives, uh, at the front, so a lot of that stuff I haven't shared with you. It's mainly been the back veggie garden, but all of our gardens and hanging baskets throughout the front are full of fruit, veg, and herbs. So I'm aiming to get the grocery bill down even further, and I've been very smart about it too. I have bought a lot of seedlings, which are taking longer to do, but I can buy a pack of seedlings for like $3, and I reckon out the back, I must have about 50 broccolis growing. <laughs> I have a lot, and lettuce. I probably have 50 iceberg lettuce that have sprouted and are growing. So it's taking a longer time to do, but it was a much cheaper option. Same as my olive tree. I've been wanting an olive tree for quite some time. And to get the established size, I want them like $200. But we went into a nursery and they had one and it was 20 centimeters tall and it was like $20. So I was like, I'm going to grab that one and we're just gonna nurture it and watch it grow over the years. But anyway, that is the grocery haul. It's a very small grocery haul. I, I, I'm i gonna do them separate for this week just because I've got little miss sick and I don't know if I'm actually gonna get my fruit and veg today or tomorrow. It might just be like, no one slept last night. 
it was not fun. If you've had conjunctivitis, you will know the closing of the eye and the, how much painful, how painful it is. So I might do my fruit and veg collection tomorrow so we can just get home from school and rest. But that is the groceries for today. It's a teeny tiny haul. I'm happy with how small it is. Don't love the price it is, but again, we just move on and we have to deal with that and shop really smart and savvy and look at our budget and constantly be reviewing things. If you are going over budget and you cannot afford it, then you cannot afford it. Do not purchase things like these and you can get your budget down. Be really smart about the sales, the reduced, the clearance. And if you need to go back to your home brand stuff, there is nothing wrong with that to keep you within your budget. You cannot spend a dollar if you have 20 cents. Seriously, you can't. And that's how you go into bad debt. I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul. It's a bit of a weird one, a bit of a small one. I'm going to go attend to Little Miss and the pile of washing that is sitting over there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um... I have nothing else to say apart from I'm really tired and need a coffee and we'll talk soon. Bye. Listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start over new. Yeah, I'm on my way now. Oh.